Hey guys, it's Chris. Today we are going to be talking about the difference between active brakes and vacuum brakes. This is a really important distinction and you may have heard us talk about it in some of our other videos or maybe you've seen the setting on your RVI Brake 3 app that says active or vacuum. And the reason it's important is because these two different types of braking systems within a car interact with a braking system very differently. So in a vacuum brake system, which is the most common type of brake system on cars, we have what's called a dead pedal. So essentially when you're driving the car and your ignition is on, there's a cyst that's being provided to your brake pedal. But as soon as you shut the car off and pump your brake pedal a few times, that pedal is gonna go what we call dead. And what that means is just, it, it, inc it requires an incredible amount of force to push the pedal down. That is the most common type of brake system and actually what the RBI brake is designed to operate on. However, in recent years with the advent of more hybrid and electric vehicles, we've seen a lot more active braking systems. And what that means is that the assist provided on the brake pedal, instead of being provided by a vacuum system, it's being provided electronically. So in other words, there's always assist on your brake pedal at all times. And so it doesn't matter whether your car is on or off, that assist will be present. So why does this matter for the brake? Well, the RVI brake, like I said, is designed to operate on a dead pedal in a vacuum braking system, which means it's pressing even in a light braking situation with an incredible amount of force. It's trying to overcome that, uh, that threshold in order to push the pedal down. And when I say hard to push, I mean it will be very difficult to push with your hand or your foot. You almost probably won't be able to do it. But that's what the brake is designed to operate on. So it has to press with a large amount of force to overcome that even when you're not braking very hard. And it's the right amount of force for those situations. But let's say you were to take the brake and put it in an active vehicle that has that assist that's always live on the brake pedal. Well, now you're gonna run into a situation where that pedal is very easy to push, but the brake is pressing very hard, even in a light braking situation. And it probably will lock up your tires in almost every situation so that's why it's very important to know this distinction so how do you determine whether or not your vehicle has vacuum or active brakes well like i said most hybrids and electrics are going to have an active braking system most traditional vehicles are going to have a vacuum braking system but the easiest way to tell is just to shut your car off so make sure the ignition is not on and then go out and pump your brake pedal a few times with your hand or your foot somewhere between five and ten times at a certain point, if you have a vacuum braking system in your car, that pedal will start to resist you very heavily. Again, almost to the point where you can't press it down with your hand or your foot. If you have an active system, that pedal is going to remain very easy to push. You'll be able to press it 20, 30 times without it ever starting to resist you. So that's how you can tell which one you have. Once you know which system you have, you'll just need to go into your RVI 3 settings app and set your brake to either vacuum or active. And that will ensure that you never run into any kind of tire lockup or on the flip side of that, that you do actually have the correct braking pressure if you have a vacuum system. So if you've got any questions on anything in this video or any of our products, feel free to reach out. We are available by phone, chat, or email. And in the meantime, guys, happy RVing.